Hey everyone, welcome to our daily recycled art channeling. And this is what we pulled from our recycling bin today. This is what was speaking to us and calling out. Choose me. And so let us get into it. We have our X-Acto knife. We're going to just start doing some things and then as thoughts come, we can speak to this. So first, just cutting out a... Cutting out this kind of teardrop shape. The teardrop appeared yesterday as well as kind of like the inside of a shell and Oh Wow, that really just came off. Do I have any tape? I don't know. Maybe I should take the whole thing off. Okay, the drip. The drip is between, is in this like blue part in between. And then there is this gorilla face wanting to move somewhere. I'm not sure where. And what is left in this package? Covering up, covering up all of the advertisement, pretending that it wasn't there. Well, we're not pretending that it wasn't there, we're just covering it up. And then it kind of makes a smell, like, why are you, are you just having, am I just having fun with this sh big sharpie because it smells... I think it feels like kind of intense to have this big range, but it's kind of out of ink, so it's not really having the kind of effect that I thought that it would, and, um, but we knew it was a kind of run and dry, so we brought a little Sharpie. And now we're thinking, okay, maybe this raindrop like was a part of it or it wants to seem like it was a part of it before this consideration for tears, this consideration for our emotions wants to seem like they were there before. And so does these like tears, all of these these torn spaces, they want to be integrated into the design that was already there. With these like black borders. And 
they're kind of messy. They're not as like perfect as the computer had printed them. But that's what where the consideration is right now. I mean, it doesn't matter if it was super glue. Well, super glue. Uber glue. Hmm. Uber glue. Part of the message is that was there has left because the cover was torn off and the glue. The glue is still... Do I still have this glue? I don't know, but now we have an orange drop wanting to... Mm. Say their piece. They're kind of mirroring the blue. They're like, yeah, let's let's drip on out. Um, and so I'm gonna mirror you. Ooh. But if time is an illusion, was the orange mirroring the blue, or was the blue mirroring the orange? And now we have these scraps, these drippy scraps, and we still have the gorilla face, but I don't really know where any tape is right now, so maybe that'll come out. Maybe I'll return those bits to the pile and we'll come back to it later. Kind of like clear some spaces that need to be cleared right now and then trust that there'll there will be uh, something else. They'll go back to the bin. So there might be something in your life that you're clearing as a reflection either way and The, the thing was is that the orange, the orange drip was made after, so this warmer, this warmer color has more clarity than the cooler color. And yet they are facing each other. So, not to invalidate the blue or anything, because in fact they are empty. There was, there was a clearing made, but they're not exactly um, like equally clear both sides whatever that means for you and yeah we're just this is a number 10 and we're about to take it out and 10 was that 10 seconds 
No, no, no. We're going to need longer than 10 seconds. What can you really accomplish in 10 seconds? Well, it's not really about accomplishment. It's more about uh, the quality of craft. Although for some people it might be for my 10 seconds might be really crucial and that's definitely valid because uh, but time is an illusion so if it's not about accomplishments and it's not about time then what is it about? Here we're reflecting our clarity and our obscurity getting clear on what what were what is obscure and getting clear on what is clear even though each part kind of feels like well 